How can I tell if I'm dealing with a strong and aggressive or a weak and choppy candle or movement? Because sometimes I can see one and I compare it to this candle, it looks strong, but then I look across and there's another candle and that one's much bigger. So is there a way to tell? Okay, so there's multiple ways of looking at that. Let me actually prepare my screen so, so I can trick you, okay? Give me a second. Okay, so you should be able to see my screen right now. This is the CAD Yen on the four hours live market right now. Okay. Yes. If I, if I point something to you and I say, this candle right here, is that strong and aggressive or is it weak and slow? What comes to your mind? Uh, it looks aggressive because it, it moved a lot. A lot happened in that candle. Okay. So this is generally how the average person is thinking is, what happened in that particular moment and uh, does it look big or small? But this has a lot to do with relativity. Things around it is what judges you. So is this volume high or low? Looks low. Okay, notice the word you said, looks low. It's because your eye can also see this to the left and saying, ah, compared to that, it's low. But if I say, look only to this, well, then that's pretty high, right? So I yeah. did this chart on purpose to, as I said, um, wanted to uh, trick you a bit. Now you tell me that same candle that I pointed to, does that look uh, pretty aggressive? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like much. It doesn't, right? Because now your eye sees that and that and like, oh man, that's nothing. It's, it's uh, tiny, right? Mm. Okay, so the word aggressive or not aggressive is very subjective to this. What? What makes it important is to use a collection of candles and saying, if I look at this as a whole, the movement as a whole, then I want to see few things. I want to see tails. I want to see wicks. And I want to see size of the body. And then one additional thing I like to constantly check is one time frame lower. Okay, one time frame lower. These are very quick techniques to do. Now, a couple of things here, let's take a look. Now, if we take a look at this movement as a whole, let's take a look at this candle. Is there a wick and a tail on it? Yep. Yep, how about this one? Uh, not much, mainly body. Okay, so what that basically means is in the four hour movement, something gets additional and gets rejected. Same thing, whether it's above or below, it goes additional and gets rejected, right? That's why we have a wick or a tail. It's additional plus rejected, which means the power is not one directional nonstop. Okay, mm. this is something that says the power is one directional until here, but then it got rejected. So it's not nonstop. But looking at the size of relativity around it, wow, that's a massive, massive candle. Right, that's a massive, massive candle. And that puts you in a state of mind of, that's pretty strong. That's really, really powerful. Now, once you do relativity, we also want to see one time frame lower. So let's use that same example as I was pointing out to you earlier, this particular candle. We're on the four hour chart now. Let's go down to the 60 and let's see how that looks. Here we are on the 60. That movement was this, big, big candles. How did the buy come in? Uh, yeah, quite strong. It took over that whole last seller. Correct. Seller so you can almost do it like, oh, it took how many candles to come down and how many candles to go back up. And that will tell you the strength of the movement. So one thing is relativity to compare it around. The other thing is to see how is the whole thing as a collection moving. So if I do this on a four hour as a collection, around this area as a collection. Is this an uptrend? What would you say? Is this yeah, an uptrend? It's moving up. Okay, but is this green, 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 green like that? Oh, no. Yeah, not, not a trend, it's, it's struggling up. Correct, More like so that trend. tells you the struggle up because if I was to break this apart, I can see if I was to put that into one candle, it looks like it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down. It's, going down. it's choppy. It's messy. It's mm. not non-stop. Okay. 
Uh, and then on a lower time frame, this rejection shows you a little bit of aggression from a lower time frame. So the word, is this aggressive candle or is this a choppy candle? It comes with the answer of it depends. It depends on your frame of reference. I always like to use a frame of reference here and a frame of reference there as well. I look at it in a multitude of things. I don't look at it just for the candle itself. I look at it nearby relation and a wider nearby relation. And that's how I judge uh, the strength of the movement. That gives me a better and a solid understanding without making any silly mistakes by looking at only one candle, which a news could have impacted it. Does that make sense? Oh, that's good.